Well, I actually drove my car into this rich guy's house, and he locked me in here until the police come. Don't believe me? I don't know. I just locked him in the library. Seems like he's on something. He's got crazy eyes and keeps screaming, I don't care. I don't care! That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. <laughs> but that's not how it really happened. That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. Ow! A northern bird flew into my nuts! Oh, go to commercial! I'm talking about God, Mom. I've been reborn. That's right, folks. It's going to be a Meg episode. Stick around for the fun. There's the clicker. No one would blame you. Awesome. And now that we're owned by Disney, we can have Hercules here. No? They, they won't let us use him? What was the point of this whole merger? Well, who can we use? Launchpad McQuack? No, no, no. You know what? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted with being told no. And now I'm married. Ugh. I'm gonna go break wieners off statues. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Ha ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Now, let's see what else this new nanny has up her sleeve. I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. You know, selling sandwiches from a car. Wonder how much I could make. Whoops, I stopped thinking about math and started thinking about baby man Billy Corgan being sad at Disneyland. You were kidding? What was the joke? This was. Oh, oh damn it, you hit the seam! <laughs> you know what? You're a jerk, Gronk. That's it. I'm getting rid of that bastard, just like I helped kick the British out of America. This tyranny shall not stand, for without liberty... Ah, oh, crap, he's even in the cutaways! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Just, just go to commercial. I'm gonna squat here and hold on to this bench. Well, while I'm being booked and processed downtown, we have time for one more classic of American literature. This one's about idiots choking rodents. I give you of mice and men. Read him his rights. You know what? I'd like to read them myself. Chapter one, eat my ass, pigs. <laughs> ah, the bones in my nose! Yo, 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 yo! yo! What the hell is going on here? I'm in there trying to take a leak. What, you think I'm here to amuse you? You made me dribble on my Bruno Maglis turning to see who's calling my name. Joe Pesci thought we were talking to him because his name is Joe. Oh, you don't know who Joe Pesci is because you're 14. You see, in the 90s, this was a tough guy. Free, I'm not used to you wanting to know. I, of course, I'd love to tell you what happened. Then by all means, I, it's just upsetting when you thumb your nose at the family. But I love you, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Please, I'd like to hear. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually kind of funny. I joined the TSA. In the show, Banana Family Guy. Nana starts the credits, lots of little names. Nah, 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 guy. I'm wearing those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely. Laugh and cry.